Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I got Jolene with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Hello. Hi Jolene. <laughs> Hi, welcome in. Hi Phoenix. Oh, it's so nice to be here. I know, right? So <laughs> I'm sorry, I just heard someone yell across the hallway. What? <laughs> I don't know why it was really funny to me. Anyway, I, I got my I got my comfy on. I got a nice thing of water next to me because my cramps are starting to hurt. Gotta love being a woman. And I got my plushie. So you know what that means. It's time for more Wattpad Book Club. Woo! And I I just realized just now that today uh, Wattpad Book Club goes out. And, uh, Baluigi got uploaded today. And what a coincidence that we are now reading it today. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that Master Ugwe thing? There are no accidents. Maybe it was a sign for more to come. Like, we'll upload this one and then we'll be reading Baluigi that day. Uh, Anything can happen. Please. Please. <laughs> like, please. Please. <laughs> Just don't roll on Phoenix's <laughs> choice, for fuck's sake. Uh, I'm not ready to say SMG4, SMG3 70,000 times. Don't worry. My I'll make Sage do that. <laughs> no, don't torture poor Sage. Leave my boy alone. He enjoyed it, I think. <laughs> I have others I can show him. He's not gonna oh like it, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, uh, I can see it now. Any moment when that wheel lands on SNG34 or my choice, I can see his soul leaving his body. <laughs> yeah, you can see the light leave his eyes. <laughs> yeah, I can see it all the way across the pond and everything. Uh, It'd be like that thing is like, it's like someone dying, and I'm just like, something just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Sense in the air. Anyway, we're in Bowie we're on chapter 12, Family Reunion. Um, yep, we are definitely on chapter 12. Yeah, Jolene <laughs> decided to read ahead. <laughs> I'm on chapter almost, 38 now. Motherfucker almost finished the book. <laughs> it's still updating. I can never really finish. But did you see this cute little picture for this chapter? Yeah, look at him! Hold on, I'm you pressing on it. <laughs> What's that Hamilton thing? He was like, look at my son. <laughs> Do you know the second um, second part of that verse is? No. Pride it's... is not the word I'm looking for. Oh, what, wait, what does that mean then? So, if you're not looking for the word pride, I'd assume you're not Disappointment? looking for a good word. <laughs> huh? Disappointment? What? Probably. Damn, I, look I, I at my son! I can make <laughs> now, now that has a whole different context of just being like, look at my son! Oh, he's That's a loser. He's, he's a dweeb. <laughs> he won't leave the house. Hey, don't call me out. I'm <laughs> I love leaving the house. Definitely. But, damn, I, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, like, you know, like a lot of nerds don't leave the house. <laughs> like Just me. not fill me with existential dread. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. I mean it as a joke. What the fuck? Get out of here! 40% off standard antivirus from malware? The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> this is Wattpad Book that. Club time! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do we have a coin to flip? Oh yeah, I do! I was just playing with the quarter when I was eating my Skittles. Alright, do you want to be heads you or tails? I literally got them today oh. in, an Etsy, in an Etsy package. Oh, nice. Yeah, I love spending my uh, money. Oh, tails. Alright. It's heads. I get to read first. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there's much Italian in this chapter, if I can remember right. I don't get to be Italian in this chapter? This is oh, bullshit. Oh, my bad. <laughs> there's no Italian people in this chapter. <laughs> Alright, fuck. Chapter 12, Family Reunion. I don't know when I'll be able to put it in this book at all. But I really want to give some character a Jennifer Coolidge voice. For me to- <laughs> Cause I've been obsessing over doing it. Um, I 
think there's a character Ooh. that you could give them it to. Finally, in this chapter? Uh, not in this chapter, but I think it's within the four that we'll read. Okay, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. Are you sure about this, Luigi? Mario, for the last time, Junior's going, he's going back to his family. Well, Dad. <laughs> well, I guess the troopers count as family. You know, no, what wait, is family? It's a, it's a, uh, what? What's his name? I literally just forgot his name. Bowser? It's Bowser's other's dad. The, <laughs> the, the, oh, the Magic Koopa? I... Kamek? No, that's not Kamek. There we go. I was <laughs> stupid. Is that his uncle? I can't, I can't remember well, anymore. It's like, it's, it's like his dad. They have his father grandfather. Son. Cause I remember in, in Yoshi's world. How the junior grandpa? Look, look, look! This is the thing, <laughs> and not no Yoshi's world. In Yoshi's island, you can see that like there's a little baby Mario, and you go up against a little baby Bowser, which is canonically Bowser, and there's a little Kamek that takes care of Bowser. So that would mean Kamek is his father, and then Bowser is the father of Bowser Jr., which means yeah. Kamek is the grandfather, I think, unless he's just another babysitter. <laughs> Kamek is Bowser Jr.'s <laughs> grandpa. He says, Grandpa, and we're all just leave it at that. <laughs> but hey, that's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> <laughs> the, super, the Super Brothers <laughs> streak their way down to the cool, cool castle and headed towards the building site. Luigi carried Jr. in his arms, wrapping the Koopaling in a thick blanket. I can see it now. <laughs> Yeah, he's his little head poking out. He's like wrapped up like you know when you take a cat and you roll it in like a little it's burrito. Baby. <laughs> yes, and he's like he's so cute. He's just swaggy. Yeah. <laughs> the day has come for the little one to go back to his father. With saddening him, he didn't want to let him go. Hell, he was tempted to offer himself as a caretaker, despite already having a full parade of royal duties in construction. Therefore. Furthermore, he was- he has to be constantly reminding himself that Junior had a family and he has- that was worried to death about him. The man in green shouldered the boy, gently patting his shell, wor wary of the spikes. Mario lifted the blanket up to his head. I'm just saying, Ouija, it's freezing out here. Yeah, there is Italian people in here. <laughs> dude, dude, Italian- dude, pizza's so good, I wish Ital Italy was real. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you and your fake Italy <laughs> He gestured to the ice capital and there. And there's. Oh, fuck. I almost said swimsuits. <laughs> Snow suits. As if they yep, need. Yeah, they're need... threatened. Yeah, they're threatened. They're, yeah, it, they're all Canadian. They, the weather. The cold doesn't affect them anymore. <laughs> as if he needed to prove his point. Luigi fought the urge to roll his eyes. He understood where Mario was coming from, but he was considering Junior's feelings more than his own. The Dark Prince has asked him quite a few times when he can go home. He already told Bowser he was going to bring him back. Furthermore, Junior was being quite the troublemaker. According to Peach, Hell- Fuck. Hell Vel- <sighs> Hell Vel- Was still peeved about him stealing an entire tray of cupcakes. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Yeah, you're good, I think. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it was hilarious to think that how he did so, chasing the kitchen staff around the castle and then proceeding to pass out in the library. And Luigi only had him left for a day. King is a trouble- a tough kid. Plus, he'd probably stay on the ship where it's warm, he argued. Mario shrugged at the- as a sign as he was giving up his argument. Luigi was grateful that he had already em he is already em emotional enough. Wait, did I read it right? <laughs> yeah, Luigi was grateful uh, for that. He was grateful as what? that he was all as he goddamn <laughs> as he is already <laughs> emotional enough. There we go. I th I was writing it out like he was already emotionally stable. I'm like, no, he's not. <laughs> this is Luigi we're talking about. He's not emotionally stable. <laughs> The two just- <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so fucked up for Luigi, but that- I mean, look at him. <laughs> the, 
The two descendants of Stone Sarazen swiftly found themselves in the outskirts of the, res of the reservation site. The flying ships loom in the distance, joined by the sound of tools clinking and shouting orders. Udi took a deep breath, swallowing back- <gasps> Swallowing back tears? He crying! <laughs> He softly shook Junior. That's his, that's his son. Junior, get my son. <laughs> Nothing, and then disregard the rest of the lines. <laughs> that's. <laughs> 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 it's time to wake up, he said. Mari courts an eyebrow. Shouldn't we be getting closer? I don't know if I, that was Italian. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's a good <laughs> idea for <laughs> to see you close to Junior. Okay, you want to make Mario more Italian, but not <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> Luigi gets my normal ass voice. <laughs> and Mario is Italian. <laughs> but I'm, I'm like, really, I highly doubt he would answer. But just calling up Heisen and be like, "Hey, you're Italian, right? Can you can you just read this line?" <laughs> he just has half a voice. All the Mario's lines as Italian as possible. <laughs> the the little prince grumbled and stirred. Luigi kneeled and lowered him down, holding him up as he slowly woke up. Junior rubbed his eyes and yawned, his caretaker pointing behind him. Look! With a slight snort, he looked where Luigi was pointing, the drowsiness in his eyes immediately leaving him. His eyes widened and glowed in joy. Luigi managed to give him a small smile, even if doing doing is causing him heartache. Oh. Junior wagged his- Junior's tail wagged as he took a step forward. However, he turned around and hugged- <gasps> Oh my god, this is so cute! I'm gonna fucking oh. punch someone. <laughs> this is adorable. <laughs> I know. The cuteness aggression is real. I already told Cameron that today. I was like, man, you're so cute. I just want to beat the shit out of you. And he's like, oh, can you not? <laughs> <laughs> the human returned the gesture, patting his head. After a long moment, they they broke apart. Luigi adjusted his bandana and, ensured, and secured the blanket around him before he stood on his feet. I'll see you around, Junior, he whispered. Junior smiled at him. Thanks for taking care of me and saving my dad. Luigi tipped his hat. Mario put his hands on his hips. Take care, little one, and keep your pops out of trouble, he said. Junior looked at him with a dead expression. Before punching him in the knee. <laughs> Ow, my knee! Also, was that Mario? <laughs> yeah, he put Mario. What's the, what's the Mario scream? He's like, Wah! <laughs> There you go. There's, there's my Mario impression. Feel free to, I don't know, duplicate that for AI. <laughs> I couldn't even hear it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> it was bad. <laughs> duplicate it for AI? Yeah, just me going, <laughs> <laughs> Before his, his guardian could even reprimand him, the prince scurried away, laughing maniacally. Oh, I can I can hear the sound. I can I can hear the sound bite of of Junior just going hee 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 hee. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi and one groaning Mario watched from a distance as he ran as fast as his tiny legs could take him. Despite the wind, Junior let out a the loudest roar and chippers he could muster, trying to catch his father's attention. Bowser stood on his back turn, instructing a team of shy guys. After giving them orders and dismissing them, he snored and began to walk away before he stopped. He looked over his shoulder, narrowing his eyes as he noticed the tiny, fast-approaching figure in the distance. Bowser took a step forward, and then he heard it. His son's roaring call, his feet moving on their own accord, heart racing. He roared in response, embers escaping from his mom? His mom? Mom. mom. <laughs> Junior Girling voice broke through the howling winds. Dad, Dad! <laughs> oh no, I can do this. Junior, my son, my beautiful son. <laughs> Why do you read it in the same <laughs> cadence as Jennifer Lewis? <laughs> what? It's without the voice, but the same speech pattern. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, you bitch. <laughs> The Koopa Prince left into his father's outreached arms, chippering with joy and nuzzling his into his father's face. Bowser responded with his own deep vocal vocalizations, shredding a few. T oh, shedding! What did I shredding? Like <laughs> shredding a guitar? Shredding. <laughs> <laughs> shedding a few tears against the bidding cold. 
Father and son hugged each other, tails wagging madly. With his with his child in hand, Bowser turned around and sprinted back to the campsite, holding Junior up. Hey, everybody! Junior's back! <laughs> Tools and ice blocks were dropped as the army descended from the scaffolding in one giant wave of cheers and whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> a, a blue blur cut through the mass, and the general and the general a, a, appeared before him. Kamek appeared in a cloud of smoke next to him. Junior reached out to the general. Tintin! Papa! Oh, it's your grandpa. Whatever. <laughs> it's another word. <laughs> <laughs> the blue shell Koopa flapped their wings and reached for Junior's tiny outstretched arms, crying and laughing. Kamek playfully headbutted his grandson, wiping underneath his eyes. Bowser put Junior on his shoulders and let out a series of deep barks. Kamek and Blue Shell followed shortly after, and soon the entire army was doing the same barking as they headed towards the airships. Wow, this is a happy ending. No, I feel like that, like it's like one of these moments. It, it was a trend not too long ago where like you're watching a good show and then something bad happens to the character that you like, so you just like right before it happens, you just shut the laptop. I feel like this is where we like uh, shut yeah. the laptop, and we're like, oh wow, no, no, what, no, a, it... what a happy story. <laughs> <laughs> No, keep going, keep I, going. I know, I know it's, like, it's gonna get good. I feel like, just in case something bad happens down the line, like, if we're rereading re this at any point, we just leave it there. We're like, wow, what a good fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Super Bros. Luigi watched, in the sight of, watched the sight with teary eyes. He was shaking, covering his mouth. Mario slowly got up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, know what, I know what I did. <laughs> Shit! Goddamn. I think he's- I think he dislocated my knee. He whispered. He looked up and noticed Luigi's behavior. Mario rolled his eyes and limped over to him, wrapping his arms around him. His little bro burst into tears. That was- that was so beautiful! He sobbed. Mario patted his back. Yeah, yeah, the kid's adorable. He was an adorable demon and you loved him, blah blah blah, he whispered. <laughs> Luigi let out a bawling cry and buried his face in his brother's shoulders. Mario sighed and continued to console him. He gently pulled him back. Come on, let's get you some ice cream. And some ice for me. Right after that, we're gonna fix up Star Sanctuary. <laughs> I, get, I gave him a lisp. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I was like, okay. Okay, go off, I guess. <laughs> yeah, go off, king. I Go off? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> was this intentional? <laughs> okay. The brothers made their way back to the castle, leaving the Koopa family to their re reunion. We're all in this together. Yeah. After the the pros procession. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> After the procession. God damn it! <laughs> I fucking said it wrong. Procession. Bowser took Junior into his airship. Everyone boarded the adjacent airships, having been ordered to. To have the day off. If her pinkness or drama king have anything to complain about, they can stick it. His his son was back, and by the looks of it, Luigi took good care of him. Junior looked well fed and happy. Bowser carried him to his captain's quarters and sat him on the table. All right, Junior, hands up. Let's take off your shell. You can take those off. <laughs> he said. Yeah. Oh, Junior <laughs> raised his arms. Finally. Kamek stepped forward. You have not removed your shell all this time, he asked. You told me never take it off if I'm not safe. Who the fuck had... had Eat a ten. Eat a ten? Eat a ten. Eat a ten? Eat a ten. Eat a ten? Mm -hmm. Eat a ten. Thank you. That's why they called him ten ten. Oh! Oh, lore... <laughs> Um, in case you don't Lord. catch it now. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say, it's not like a big spoiler or nothing. Okay. Eat a tenth death. Oh! Okay, so, like, I guess that kind of makes sense. If they talk about his hand movement, um, he's signing. Oh. Oh, I thought you said he was deaf. And I'm like, well, that makes sense, because he's like a blue shell, and that usually means death for someone in first place. I, I think... <laughs> he's deaf. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what did you think I said at first? Death, like D E A T H, like that, oh, like that no. word means death. And I'm like, oh, that kind of oh, that's no, pretty no, cool. No. <laughs> Fun. Lord, 
Out of ten, pointed at him with two fingers and then nodded their heads. Bowser did not argue further. His son was trapped in a toadstool palace. He also doubts Green he could figure out how to take off the shell. It's a tricky process and Junior's too young to do it himself, let alone explain it to someone else. Once the protective cover was off, Bowser turned Junior in his hands, scanning for wounds or anything out of the ordinary. Nothing wrong with him, Kamek. <laughs> I don't see or sense any runes or enchantments. The prince has not been cursed or hexed, said the royal advisor. The king sighed. Thank gods. <laughs> the, the father put his sun shell back on and rested him on his knee. Kamek adjusted his glasses. No, Junior, how many stars' names did you end up with the... How in stars' names did you end up with the green super brother, he screeched. You were supposed to say with I... Oh, fuck, I already forgot. Eat a I'd... ten. Eat a ten. <laughs> Bowser snouts. Junior looked at them. What kind of welcome home is this? Yeah, he just gets scolded immediately. <laughs> his father pinched the bridge of his muzzle. Junior, I told you to stay with them. You were supposed to run while I held off those two plumbers and the princess. Yeah, but Ten Ten had to go and help everyone keep the ship from falling. Kamek flailed his arms. The real question is, why did everyone go to the engine room? Why not send a small squad to handle them, the meddling some toad, then redirect the rest of the throne room? I don't know, you guys are just stupid. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> hey! Leave him alone. Get, I don't know, do better at being a leader? Just saying? Oh my god. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> Edith 10 raised their hands to reply, stopped, and then pulled their helmet down in shame. Bowser shook his head and waved his hand around, silently telling everyone to drop it. This time, he was going to chalk it up to panic. For everyone, the plan was airtight, and when things went shit, he wasn't there to help. They did the worst thing they could think of, and because of their dumb... Dumbassery. Junior used his brain and went somewhere safe. Bowser patted his head. You used your paintbrush, did you? <laughs> to stay out of sight? Oh, I forgot about the paintbrush! That's a, that's a sunshine mm -hmm. reference. Awesome. I wish they brought that back. Junior nodded. Bowser ruffled his hair. I guess I can't be mad at you. The whole point is getting you to be safe, he said. The Koopaling stood on his knee. Dad, can we go home now? He asked. We can't, Junior. The boy stammered, confused by the reasoning. Bowser felt an uncomfortable twist in his chest, like something had reached into his chest and twisted his lungs. Breathing hurt. He cleared his throat, trying to soothe that discomfort. Ada, Ten, and Kamek shared the same expression. Damn feeling has been... Damn feeling has been bugging him since he... <laughs> since they stared... Oh, fuck, God <laughs> Damn feeling has been bugging him since they got, since they started looking at the damages to the gate, and they wouldn't leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, to, to shut my brain off <laughs> to fucking read. <laughs> the gears were turning; they weren't turning fast enough. <laughs> Seeing the broken pieces of ice and being in the 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 rear constant wind must be messing with his head. Bowser scuffed. We'll be home as soon as we can get these stupid kingdoms fixed, he replied. Junior frowned deep in. But, but we have the ships, why can't we just run, he asked. Even if we did run, they'll just come find us and put us in jail. For real this time, Bowser added. It had ten waved their hand, putting their attention. Plus, we can't use the ships, enchanted. Kamek rubbed his beak. General Aid... A... Ah, uh, fuck, god damn uh, Eat a ten. Eat, eat a ten. General Eden Ten is right. The Mushroom Princess and her mages have enchanted our airships with some sort of parental lock. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I've always seen parental lock used for fucking, like, like little tablets for children. It's really funny that they have a parental lock so you can't run away. <laughs> We can only go to designated, design destinations. The, res the responses just seemed to upset Junior further. He leaned his head against his father, whimpering with his tail tucked between his legs. Bowser held him closer. 
the gut-wrenching feeling intensifying. He has severely underestimated the destruction he's caused. He said this would only take a month, and they were nowhere near done with the Snow Kingdom. These... <laughs> Gl glacial? Glacial mm -hmm. Gates. Thank you. These, those glacial gates, or whatever the hell they're called, were, had, have barely been touched, and they've been here for days. Working with those winds are also not helping. His boastful, his boastful bet was wrong. Don't worry, son. We'll be home soon. Junior sighed. Okay, we need to say to give, need the kingdoms a try. He whispered. Kamek perked up at that. He did. <laughs> he did what? Bowser and. Ida Ten flinched. The blue Koopa, yeah, the blue shell Koopa flinched her hands across their throat. Stop, stop, Kamek has. Kamek has been really sensitive when anyone brings up Luigi. Bowser cannot really blame him. The green sash did throw his wand, which took his pop eight years to make, into a lava pool like it was nothing. The king picked up his son. Hey, come on, let's get you all cleaned up and down, and go down, down mess. Fuck, God, and. Go down mess deck. Okay. You hungry? <laughs> he asks. Kamek seethed in silence. Junior gasped, excited by the prospect of eating food from home again. Bowser stood up. Alright, let's get out of here and grab you some grub. Yay, yeah, wait! He looked down at his father. You're not gonna make me eat veggies. Are you, are you gonna make me eat veggies? Uh, yeah. This set the prince into a tirade. Quickly, which quickly... Fuck, god damn it. <coughs> I'm, let me take a little sip. I've been reading too fucking long. <laughs> <laughs> Which quickly evolved into further father and son bickering as they exited the captain's quarters. Kamek followed them, Edithon sighing their input every now and then before shaking their hands and sadly zooming out. As they walked through the deck, Bowser paused for a moment, leaving Junior arguing with the back of his head to look at the cool, cool castle. The corners of his snout drooped slightly. He should have said thank you to Luigi. <gasps> he should. Oh my god, they're gonna be boyfriends! <laughs> yeah, yeah, soon, soon. Yeah, I love how I'm being recommended other Baluigi fanfictions on the side. <laughs> One's called Forbidden Left. <laughs> Wait, small instance of accidental self harm. What is that? How do you do an accident? Yeah, just... Okay. <laughs> you accidentally harm yourself. It's like a. You know, that's it. I don't know. Okay, maybe it's a good thing you're reading this part. <laughs> I think. Luigi and Mario dined with the Penguin family. After properly fixing the Star Sanctuary, the Royals invited them to dinner as a celebration. Luigi most certainly sensed the rise in morale. Up in the highest tower, the snow, po the snow power star floated calmly on its pedestal, its mystical light painting the sky with green, teal, and pink hues. It honestly put the Aurora Borealis to shame. That thought brought a smile to Luigi's face. His happiness could not compare to the sovereign family. The penguin family tripped gleefully as they ate pieces of grilled cheap cheap and blooper, this world's version of squid. Mario and King Boreas were locked in a very energetic discussion of their battle with Bowser. From the outside, it looked like they were trying to impress each other. Two peas in a pod, those two. Mario retold the story with a few exaggerated elements, while Boreas did the same. Honestly, Luigi could tell why the king was known as quite a histrionic individual. He doubts that Bowser threw him off a cliff and the king survived and scathed. On the other hand, Luigi found a conversation with the Queen Genera in Little Princess Taxi. So, you come from Brooklyn? asked Taxi. <laughs> <laughs> Luigi chuckled. It's Brooklyn, Princess. Uh, and yes, I am. It's a city from a very big country, he replied. Genera swelled her drink. Uh, Genera is the character who I want you to give a, um... <laughs> Which one? Uh, Genera. Okay. Oh, I can do this, don't worry. <clears throat> do, do you wanna, do you wanna do her part? Yeah, I can, I can do that. Genera I... swelled her drink. I have never heard of such a thing. Your homeland must be fast. It had to be divided into 50 states. She said to herself, oh. Not even the Sahara Land Empire could compare. 
gonna be timed in. Don't let that Princess Daisy hear you say that. Let's see through the thing. <laughs> Laughter broke through the table. Luigi could only imagine the type of character the Crown Princess is in. The comfort of her kingdom. After all, Princess Daisy was ready to throw hands with Bowser during the trial, even though he was twice her size and triple her weight. Collecting themselves, the conversation turned to the Snow Kingdom. The capital was slowly returning to its former glo glory. Citizens were smiling more, since the gates were being fixed, and the arctic winds were more bearable. Well, at least for Mario and the residents. Luigi was still wearing three layers of sweaters underneath his snowsuit. Was it a good idea? Probably not. Since his mobility was, was a tad limited. But he achieved his goal of staying warm. King Boreas. What did the ice sculptures have seen around? Mara's question caught his attention. While Luigi was mainly focused on repairing the kingdom, his curiosity was very distracting. Mood. He wanted to learn more about the snowy kingdom. He'd always been a bit of a history buff and it would make living there a bit easier. Living there much easier. After all, he learned he learned the way of life and danger to avoid. King Boreas chuckled smugly. He stood up and signaled them to follow. Everyone did as he asked, leaving their empty plates for the servants and followed him. The penguin sovereign Yeah, sovereign led the humans to the throne room. The white curtain softly played. Along the walls of the grand room stood a large ice block carved into shape. Upon closer inspection, the sculptures meticulously depicted scenes of history. King Boreas cleared his throat and proudly regaled them with tales of the country. Centuries ago, no kingdom was nothing but a frozen wasteland. Their citizens, non intelligent avians, driven by instinct rather than logic. Every day was a struggle for food and shelter and their defenses were meager against their predatory enemies. The competition for the little resources available against the Shivarians just kept getting worse and worse, until one fateful day, a power star fell from the cosmos and landed in their colony. Its magic granted them the gift of higher thinking. Man, if I had a nickel for every time we read a fanfiction that dove into Mario lore, I would have two nickels. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly love that for us. They're so interesting. Yeah. You can, like, it's literally anything's, like, the sky's the limit, you know? Mm -hmm. That is true. Mm -hmm. And these have been bomb, like, very good so far. Yeah. The leaders of the colony became monarchs after the new civilization it was inspired by the nearby location. I'm nearby nation. They uprooted their rookeries in the dangerous tundra and marched for the glaciers, deeming them as protection from the howling wind. They reached a peace treaty with the Shavarians. As the penguins shared their power star, the seal like beings would leave them be and even prayed with them. Gone were the days of milling around in squalor, days of hunger. With their newfound intelligence and allies, they set out to establish their new home. From the glaciers around them, the penguins built gates, frigid metropolis, and the cool, cool castle. They made a name for themselves by inventing ice games, establishing their mining and fishing industries and other feats. Despite their small stature and meek appearance, the penguins proved a powerful force. At the end of his grand presentation, Boris was praised with slaps and honks, while the family and Mario moved on to the next sculpture, a depiction of the current royal family. Luigi fell gravitated toward an unfinished carving. He instantly recognized it as he got close. Mario was caught mid-air, his, his fist connected with Bowser's jaw. Peach floated above them. Halberd pointed down. Meanwhile, Luigi was behind the three, aiming his shot. Despite being incomplete, the deep killing was impressive. They even captured the movements of Mario's fighting stance. He just dressed and Luigi's ready to throw pose. <laughs> Luigi found this way of saving history fascinating, a snapshot forever preserved in the enchanted ice. Though, he could spot some five details. Took some creative liberties with Mario's height and physique, and Luigi has been Luigi has been stared at by the king enough to know that he's not cross-eyed. Snickering <laughs> slightly, the man in green moved away from the sculpture, content with his newfound knowledge. And after a few moments of milling around, Luigi decided it was time time to turn in for the night. Tomorrow has has a busy day ahead of him. With a sonorous yawn, 
The king, the Koopa King, exited the airship. Junior in one hand with a steaming Koopa-sized cup of coffee. He groaned, exhausted, which makes no sense. His eating habits haven't changed, and the biggest source of his worries was back safely in his arms. His training regiment was more energy-consuming than the meager manual labor he'd been doing. So why... Why is he so damn tired? The official gates will be complete tomorrow, is that... That is, if the weather holds up. They'll be out of here within the week. After spending almost a month and a half in this wasteland, Junior's back. His whole ordeal was a step closer to being over. Shouldn't he be happy? <gasps> or at least believe? He's gay. Bowser snorted. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser snorted, his head pounding. Your head's still hurting, Dan? The king hissed tightly at the sound of Junior's voice. I'll be fine. His son didn't need to worry about that. Maybe it's just burnout from all the worrying Bowser did. He thought he'd lost his son. Taking him their gulp of coffee, the Koopa King looked around. His soldiers busied themselves, busied themselves, putting the gate in snow. Why, why they ordered him to do that? He'll never bother to ask. And removing the scaffolding, he could spot a squad of shy guys performing maintenance on the airship. He did ten flew above him, checking on everyone from a distance. And Kemek was absent. Bowser guessed the old man was trying to remove Peach's spell from the helm, despite the fact that Koopa King kept telling him to not to. Maybe his adoptive father was the source of a mistake. Bowser put his son down, the Koopaling gently took his father's claw and watched him do his round. As the two walked around, army members waved and saluted. Just like him, they were overjoyed that the prince was back safe and sound. The king and the prince of the Darklands returned to their gestures and continued on their way. Now and then, Junior would run off and mess with some of them by playfully running between them or sneaking up on them to scare them. Bowser didn't mind that too much. The royal court was pretty much extended family to them. Plus, things have been too quiet around here. Ever since Luigi brought him back, morale has gone up. A sharp stab of pain made him hit. The king, run the king rubbed his temple, trying to soothe the ache. Another sting in his chest also occurred. Thinking about that plumber made just kept making him feel worse. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. I am. <laughs> this is <laughs> you're so good. You're good. You're good. I love it. <laughs> he just doesn't. It just doesn't make any damn sense. When he comes for his routine inspection, sometimes he wants he wanders off to help the soldiers, help a goomba lift a box here, secure a wobbly platform there. Bowser doesn't remember Peach telling him to help them. All he was supposed to do was make sure they were working and that's it. Bowser just can't understand why he's trying to be all nice to them, especially considering the circumstances. And no matter what angle Bowser sees it, the little man just seems more confusing to him. Why is he being nice? He didn't deserve any of that. Even though the king knew Luigi was scared to death of him and found that fact somewhat funny, the human was supposed to make light conversations with him. He'd ask how he was doing, how was Junior, etc. His kindness brought back memories. Bowser wish he didn't do that, that Luigi kept his distance, but no amount of snarling and glaring seemed to be deterring him. And, well, the world didn't have a right to stop him from seeing his son. Al appeared to be a good influence on Junior. Ugh, he doesn't know what he wants. The King Bowser snorted smoke, his head spinning. He doesn't know what to do anymore. It's not like he could avoid Luigi. If he tries, then the other one will come here and search ship. Ship. <laughs> search ship. Which <laughs> Mario will come here and start shipping things. It's a be a mess. <laughs> like Bowser and Luigi. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that Koopa and that Goomba. <laughs> that Goomba. Oh my god, that shy guy and that other shy guy. Oh my god, Kanik and Tia 10? Uh, Abaton? <laughs> You don't even know his name! <laughs> I just can't pronounce things! You know this! <laughs> <laughs> Which is something Bowser doesn't want to deal with. But, with every interaction, his chest got tighter. The head I kept returning. Hello. Ah, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Startled. <laughs> the confused ruler jumped, rubbing his drink in the process. And looked to his side, 
Luigi shrunk so deep into his parka that only his nose was visible. Bowser was but a bare his teeth but caught himself. He rubbed his eyelids. Don't Don't do that. Announce yourself, he said. I mean technically. Luigi he pulled did. down his hood. <laughs> he said hello. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. You were just so deep in thought and I didn't want to interrupt. Greeny. Breathe. He called him Greeny. <laughs> oh my god, how romantic! I'm sorry, I had to indulge. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I've been indulging this whole time. I'll share the love. <laughs> oh no, I last time I read this too, the first time I read it, I was like, oh my god, Greeny. Yeah, that's his nickname in bed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go back to sinking my water. Okay. <laughs> Luigi stopped his anxious babbling with a tiny yelp. He looked down, nervously fidgeting with his toe zipper. Bowser internally groaned, then rolled his eyes. It's whatever, but don't do it again, or else I'm putting a damn bell on you. He yeah, said. I bet you liked and that. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up! <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> you're something. You are something. You're over there like, Ricky. By the way, you, Ricky. By the way, they're not fucking anytime soon. Damn it! I can still make jokes about it! <laughs> Wait a minute, they're not doing anytime soon! Have you read a part that they that they do? Oh, there! No, I'm not, dude. I'm 38 chapters in, and they many, have done nothing. How many chapters are there? 45. Maybe they will fuck at the last one. <laughs> Ooh, they are not. Based on how it's going, I'd be surprised. Damn. It's, oh my god, is there angst? <laughs> the way that you said it made, made it sound like they're fighting. Hold on, give me a minute, give me a minute, oh, give me a minute. We're like, uh, trying to refer to my I'm just gonna notes. read you, I'm just gonna read you the tags. Um, well, a AO3? oh shit. You know what, let me just not read the tags from AO3. <laughs> Were you about to read some fucked up shit for a second? Uh, they're not tags you'd like, I'll let you know that. <gasps> that earned a tiny laugh from him. The sound was strangely soothing. After a few awkward seconds of silence, the small man spoke. Uh, spoke again. Uh, how- how is everything going? Oh boy, here we go. Bowser crossed his arm. The gates are almost fully complete. We just gotta finish this top section and coat the damn things with snow. Uh, that's good. It means you'll be out of the cold soon. Bowser grunted in response. The cold wasn't really bad for them. The inner temperature force protected them. Otherwise, they'd be freezing their tails off out here. Once again, the human's concern over their well-being was confusing him. He suddenly watched as Luigi wrote something down in his notepad before tucking it back in his pocket. He shivered. Where's Junior? he asked. Bowser scanned around and pointed a claw at the base of the scaffolding, playing with one of those spiky dudes over there. The two watched from a distance as Jun Junior and the spiny playfully chased their headbutted each other. Bowser relaxed at the sight. I have been happy that his son was being his rambunctious self and the other proud that he was getting some training done. Kid has to learn someday. How are you feeling? An involuntary rumble escaped from his throat. Bowser turned to Luigi fully, almost hovering over him. Why do you care? Yeah, not caring for the harshness of his voice, and the human blinked a few times, irritating the king further. You've been helping my people around this site. You've tried making small talk with him. You saved my son and vouched for me during the trial. Why? Why are you doing this? I, um... What do you hope to gain from this? Despite his growling voice, the last question was barely whispered. His hands were shaking by his side, as his mind raced a hundred miles an hour. The kindness, the show of mercy. It all has to be for his personal benefit, right? Or that he has to put up- or he was put up to this by peace in hopes of turning this off because no sane individual would do anything for someone like him. Not now, and not after what he did. Bowser chest hurt. Bowser, I don't mean to alarm you, but he might- Luigi just might be gay for you. I mean, that's the only solution. Luigi might just be a nice guy. Yeah, you know, he is- he has this thing called morality. <laughs> I don't He's know. He's just a sweet little guy. He's just a little dude. He doesn't like being mean yeah. to people. Yeah. 
Not a mean bone in his body. Yeah, Mario on the other hand. <laughs> yeah, Mario's he, a he bitch. Kill. <laughs> he kills on yeah, sight. Yeah, Mario. Yeah, exactly. He's like, ooh, threat. Oh, yeah. nah. <laughs> yeah, Mario's the type of guy that carries around a gun. As soon as like anything startles him, he just go ah, and just shoots. <laughs> She's, yeah, no thought. Yeah. Just you. Yeah. <laughs> no thought. Only gun. <laughs> <laughs> Real American of him. I mean, he's from Brooklyn. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Mm. Bowser's chest hurt. Like a slap to the face, he realized the guilt was causing his in such anguish. The headache, the chest tightness, the fatigue were all just manifestations of his true emotions. Seeing the destroyed gate, learning that they were the only protection these people have against the element. His crimes were done out of selfishness and a need for a revenge. Everyone else's feelings of resentment towards him were correct and justified. Because he really is just a monster. Always has been. So what if I'm and the yet... monster? I'm sorry. Girl! <laughs> <laughs> and yes, someone stood- Here stood the exception. Someone who helped him and his family despite the fact that Bowser did not hesitate to hurt him. Luigi really shouldn't waste such care on him. Maybe then, he could live in his belief in that he was in the right of avoiding the pain, painful reality that is he had hurt hundreds while being in his, while being in an authoritative figure, someone who is in charge of the lives of thousands of citizens. I don't want to be your enemy. The Koopa King opened his eyes. He didn't even realize he had done so. He also didn't realize he was digging his claws into his arms or how close Luigi had gotten. Soldiers around him stopped what they were doing, sensing, sensing their king's distress, but did not dare approach, ignoring the look, the man in green and her laced his hands. I think you've been hurt enough, Bowser, he said. Right now, you don't need enough, another enemy. You could use a helping hand, honestly. I held you hostage. I threatened your life. Luigi gestured to the gate. You know what I saw when I arrived here? Silence. I saw someone deeply hurt. Do I agree with how you expressed your pain? No. No, I do not, he said. However, after the trial and just interacting with you these past few weeks, I realized that no one has given you a chance, and despite everything, I don't feel contributing to that would help you, me, or anyone for that matter. His voice was steady, not once to be silver. He was giving Bowser the raw honesty. Did he feel angry for him calling him, calling out his actions? No, actually, he was appreciated that fact. However, he was still against Luigi's attempt at forming what? A friendship? That would never work. In the end, Luigi will agree with the others and turn his back on him. It happened in the past, and with the karma he's wrecked up, it's almost a guarantee. So, Bowser does not understand why the man before him kept arguing, his gaze on the floor. He wished he would just drop it, despite these feelings. Bowser could not come up with a form of retort to his claim. If you don't believe me, why didn't I just let Junior out there alone? Why didn't I just keep quiet during the trial, argued Luigi. I think it's clear, pretty clear I'm not the confrontational type. So that tells me my intentions are honest, right? Grunt. Luigi stepped forward. How your people see you and how you interact with your family tells me that there's some good in there. If no one else wants to acknowledge it, that's their decision. Mine is to do so. Luigi- I'm not Luigi, <laughs> fucking Bowser <laughs> finally looked up. You really shouldn't then stop me. Where did this brackness come from? Luigi wasn't even shaking. Not a fear or the cold. He extended his hand. Go on. If you're rotten to the core as they say, stop me. Because if it was true, you wouldn't have kept me in a cell. You'd have chucked me into the nearest lava pit. You wouldn't have even let me breathe near B Junior since he's your entire life. Who, by the way, is a very good kid and the- Apple doesn't usually fall far from the tree. To say that the king was stunned was an understatement. He does not think he's ever heard Luigi speak so much in, in such an animated matter. His sapphire blue eyes stared him down with really determination. Determination? Like man. the Undertale? Never mind, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. I was, I was gonna start like humming the song, you know? <laughs> you know, indomitable human spirit and stuff. <laughs> That's, I mean, 
the spirit's there. Let's go. <laughs> Small man took another step forward, never breaking eye contact. We can talk about. We could talk things through. We can forgive, grow, and move on. Does that sound good to you? He asked, extending his his hand. Bowser looked at her. You're serious about being my friend, Luigi. As serious as a heart attack, Bowser. He replied. And we could take baby steps. I would like both of us to to earn each other's trust healthily. A bit of silence flushed over them, but this wasn't a bout of awkwardness. It was more of a non-verbal sense of understanding. Very carefully, almost fearfully, Bowser took the human hand and shook it. Luigi's eyes glittered like the stars, a bright smile on his face in spite of his hesitance. He returned the gesture. He looked up and realized that people were still staring at him, albeit now with confusion and concern. Quite a few of them had their tools held out like weapons. And the king raised his hand. Everything is fine. We're just talking, he hastily said. The soldiers around him relaxed. Luigi chased red. I, I didn't I didn't realize I was being so loud, he whispered, <laughs> burrowing into his jacket. Brandy Luigi. Where'd all these come from? I, I read a lot. Real. I love Luigi. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> the draconic... <laughs> ah! The draconic ruler hummed in response. It didn't really explain anything, but it was an answer. Luigi looked at the long forgotten drink in the snow. Hey, I think I owe you a coffee. That seems like a good icebreaker, and I think we could both use it to relax a little. He, him, he said timidly. His paley companion rubbed the back of his neck. Um, yeah, I guess I'm cool with that. He responded. Hold on. Junior! Junior! I love <laughs> Junior! I love all of them so much. Ooh. This is a baby. The two adults... This is a baby. The two adults sharply turned to the prince's location, who was busy fighting a storm of Goombas and nearly setting a few of them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Junior's head swiveled to them. What? He answered, unaware of the emotionally charged conversation that had just occurred. Bowser sighed, stars. Leave the Goombas alone. They started it! <laughs> Another sigh, just. Ugh. Go to the airship. I have to take care of something. With a simple shrug and a small, okay. The prince turned his heel and headed for the ship, leaving behind the defeated Goombas. Bowser chuffed. Good kid? He asked, looking at Luigi. I said good, not perfect. Not that anyone could be, he added, with a nervous chuckle. This earned a real chuckle from the king. He gently put a hand on his shoulder. Gay. Gesture of the past. <laughs> certainly amicable, unlike the past. A tight knot of guilt within him loosened, but did not disappear. And he found he was perfectly content with that. Bowser wants to unravel that himself, and perhaps now it wouldn't look so scary since he had someone new by his side. This is the gayest shit I've ever read in my life. Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jolene, what do you think? Uh, amazing. Wonderful. Show-stopping. Good. Five stars. I'm probably gonna finish it tomorrow. Yay! Right, five, I gotta finish it this week. I'm really curious now. You just told me that there were tags in it that I wouldn't be okay with, but we're reading this book, so what's in it? Uh, no, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. Okay, okay. You'll- you're- you'll be okay. I just know that- It wouldn't be- like, I wouldn't pick it based off of the tags? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe this will open up my world to new books, if I can get past to this. To new forms of ink. Yeah, to-, to yeah. Well, watch it have, like, dead dove do not eat, and you're like, yeah, this no, is no, a no. really good book. <laughs> I mean, hey. Um- yeah. <laughs> I'm listening. That's it. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. I mean, hey. <laughs> not not that just the silence. <laughs> I I thought like your mic caught out and you're like, hey, listen, I got like just listen, hey, and you just. No, that's it. <laughs> okay. Well, all right. Well, I love this. It went on. But guess what we're both going to be dreading? The wheel in a second. <laughs> oh god, oh god, I'm gonna see if I can use my powers for good. <laughs> oh, definitely. <yeah, really. laughs> 
All right. Scared, a lot of scared, good scared. options. Scared. Just tell me okay. one. <laughs> I'm nervous. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Wait. Oh, come on! You can't be over here calculating! No, no, wait! <laughs> Leave me alone! Let me You're do trying to make a land on Baluigi again, I, bitch! Wait, wait, no, no, wait, wait, oh wait, my wait, God. wait, 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 I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Um, um, uh, uh, uh go, 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 Oh, go. God, okay, go, go fuck! Oh, oh God! How, how could you? You Man, waited so long! I was pressing long. control enter and it didn't do anything, I'm sorry! Okay, I've been scared. <laughs> My sword and shield. A Zoro X reader. It's been a while since we read one of these. Mm -hmm. Works for me. Wow, you almost okay, like... I... You're like, you stupid fuck. I told you, you to spit was... it and it landed on your choice. You doomed the zone. Oh, it almost... It almost... Okay. What if yeah. I picked soul to a gang leader? <laughs> If you pick soul to a gang leader, I just gotta get water because I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> I'm gonna be so much pain. It was so funny. We were we were bought by a bunch of werewolf vampire looking ass haha -ha guys. You know? <laughs> they're, they're they all... were werewolf vampire guys. Yeah, all pasty white, generic tattoos, and brown what hair. What this vault has been hotel in your bookmark? Oh. Well, uh... Uh, th this? Don't- don't worry about it. <laughs> I have the evidence right here. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Uh, oh, dude, stop doxing me! <laughs> stop doxing Bro, that's not cool! You can't be doxing me! Why do you have a cow in your Google- Google photos? I have a- a cow? Yeah, a cow. It says vodka. Oh, that says vacay. Oh. <laughs> cow. I was like a cow. Where the fuck do you see a cow on the screen? <laughs> yeah, I got my ROMs. I got Vox fanfiction. Wait, wait. Do we have? Is um. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, we're gonna finish it off. There's only four parts for us. <gasps> well, for now, right? It's still updated. Yeah, right? for now. Yeah. I mean, they haven't updated- it's, it's been a minute. Yeah. <laughs> They're Author, probably on hiatus. Get your shit together. Yeah, I mean, school just hey, started hey. back. I'm kidding, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you saw that meme I sent you, where it was like, POV, you're an author of a book I really like, and you haven't updated in years, and I broke into your house. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that? <laughs> Huh? Broke into my house, that's wild. Uh oh. That's not what you said. You said the word crazy. And you chose not to say it this time. No! Are you, are you afraid? No! I've are never you feared anything. crazy? <laughs> crazy. I was crazy. Well, anyway. <laughs> anyway, Jolene, <laughs> thanks for joining. It's always a pleasure We're having done. you around. It's a blast. Yeah, on screen is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings I've done in the past, including with Jolene and some other people, so you should go check that out. And also is the last Wattpad book club I've done with the person. I don't know which person it is, it could- it may be Minho, probably, I don't know. But Jolene, you got anything left you want to say? Any- any inspiration you want to- little nuggets of wisdom? Inspiration? Oh shit. You know? Um... Uh, live your best life. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's way better than mine. Don't, I was just... Also, don't hurt people. Oh, yeah, that too. That's way better than mine. I was gonna just say read smut, do crime. <laughs> read smut. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll do you one better. Read some ang. Really mm. hurt your own feelings. Yeah, really really make yourself and cry help yourself you develop. to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be your, like... Real. You don't it'll have trauma? Be read angst. you ever get. Yeah. <laughs> no trauma? Read angst. For free. <laughs> Secondhand trauma. Yay! Alright, well, anyway, my <laughs> name's Phoenix. Great. That was Jolene, <laughs> and we'll see you guys Bye. next time. Bye! Bye-bye!